so welcome back to the youtube channel so in the previous video we talked about how to register we started from the basics on registering in, on infinity free platform and we walked down through to the c panel to creating an account to actually hosting your website your wordpress website on infinity free and i also talked about how you can um uh, how you can understand i also explained sorry in details about the wordpress dashboard from infinity free and also talk about the domain name extension as you can see this is the domain we are using for the purpose of this tutorial now right now i'm going to talk about team template how you can actually um, import template or literally change the team of your website so currently this is how our website look and this is how our website look currently and this is due to the default teams that literally come with the account or the wordpress admin so this is it 2020-14 and what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete these other ones we need to delete these other ones and once i delete these other ones i'm going to show you guys how to so this is the one we have currently what we have on our website this is it so now we have to add a new team now this is um, you might want to ask me what's the use of a team now team are actually what gives your website different functionalities or unique views so currently um if you go to the team library you see there are a lot of team a lot of different type of team out here like a lot and a lot guys there are a lot of team so you can pick anyone you want if you're building a music or a blogging website you can use this as you can see if you're building a shop website you can use this this is literally beautiful guys so you can use this and start customizing but i don't want to use something too complicated i want to use astra so for this we're going to be installing astra on infinity free so we're going to be installing astra team on infinity free hosting and we want to also use the starter templates for astra so we can literally build our website or start building our website now for this i spoke to you guys i told you guys that we're going to be doing the, um we're gonna be doing the e-commerce thing so so now we have it so instead of me to click get started with our template I'm going to go to the plugin click on add new plugin now I want to add some plugins to give it some functionalities now if you don't understand what plugin is go back to the last video we did an explanation of plugins all the same plugin gives um, your website various functions just like javascript code they help you um, achieve various functions of your website so the first one i want to download is elementor P -L -E -M -E -N -T -O -O -R. so now elementor now elementor is a page builder that is used to build websites so i'm going to install elementor and the next one is called starter templates yes this is the starter template that is literally linked to this one that we can pick a template for as you can see it's installed so next one is called starter templates and i want to use it to install the template here so as you can see starter templates you have that of elementor you also have that of Astra. So I don't know if this is a, okay. Start a template Elementor WordPress Viva page builder. Okay, let's install this. I'm trying to look for that of Astra. I don't know if that is the same. I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't want to leave right now. It's Elementor. So as you can see, it's actually activating. So let me activate this as well okay we activated so now i'm gonna activate the element okay it has actually been installed start template it's actually been installed so this is it now let's activate element as well and these are the two major plugins that we need to do this so i'm gonna delete this hello dolly and I don't need it i don't also need this argument anti-spam protection but it's usually for protection of your website so now i'm going to come to astra and let's
let's go around as drive a bit before we come back to the style template so this is astra you can do a lot of customization on astra if you are using astra for your website um, while some of them are pro while some customization are pro yet you can use the free version so you see the customizer here so you can customize the site and just edit it by doing drag and drop here but i don't want to customize it from here first i want to pick a template that we can use to literally preview the website so this is our website look currently and if you go back to the website to reload it you see that we have some change so this is how it look currently so let's go back i don't want to do anything here So what I want to do is to go to the plugins area on the start plugin. I want to click on the start template. So I'm going to get started. So the whole process I don't like about this, it's just going to take you through the whole process. So if you're using an AI website builder, you want to use the AI website builder, you can, but I just want to build with templates this means just look for an e-commerce template so yeah it's the shop e-commerce so let's pick one online shop and we pick anything that's literally cool for an online shop so these are templates they are previewed templates that you can use for your website depending on the website you're building but they are all previewed templates so you can always use them you can always use them so that is it and let's look for something on shopping i don't know it's not popping up so let's look for okay this is the e-commerce now we have the premium ones and we also have the free one so this is a free one these needs to are actually premium so because we do not have the premium version we're gonna use the free one so let's utilize this i like this okay let's do with this let's go with this so i'm gonna click on this organic shop and sorry before i forgot we had to select our page builder so to be elemental so we're using elemental page builder so we don't mistake that and i'm gonna select this and So you give it some time to put um, I think it actually picked the wrong one in the process let's go back guys um, okay let's go back I think we picked the wrong template instead of the e-commerce we actually picking we did mistakenly click on the other one so let's go back and do it so e-commerce so come here elemental then come here here is the e-commerce templates e-commerce so we have this shop here so this is it so click on it and we have it right here so this is the website guys so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click on continue select features collect donation from your website automatic immigration website tax boost your sales profit i don't need video creator i don't need to connect your website to live chat so i'm gonna click on continue i'm just gonna skip this or oh, as it seems i can't skip this so let me just call this not like I literally need this so I am um, an intermediate anyone is fine I'm building for my clients so I'm gonna click on submit and build website now as you can see more technical information 
تا بیس کنسولیس میز از ایزا نیم پاس کنیم فرمیشن دور پی کول کنفیگ سکوائر بری کانتر بیس اوکی سو اوکی بیدا می این تر بیس Okay, it seems that um, Okay, it seems that um, Importing card flow fade due to phase density error. So if it doesn't work, okay, let me go back. I think I know what the issue is. The card flow should be from the O command. So check out plugin. I think it's from the O command. Okay, it's actually this is the card flow that had the issue, which is from the O command. So let's go install O command manually. Plugin add new. Okay, this is WooCommerce. Okay, this was the main reason actually it was not able to install the plugin. So let me see. So I think um, it's actually limited. This is literally limited the WooCommerce plugin. So I think this um, free infinity free is actually limited to setting part so let me see again because you have to install the WooCommerce plugin due to the fact that the WooCommerce plugin was not um, installed it was having issue installing this plugin update fee more details let me see okay I think I could still do it from the back end let me see Let's manage plugins add the plugin search for the database let me see it's so gonna come up okay install and let's see if it's gonna work it has actually been installed let me go to install plugin and let's turn it on it's already, already activated so if you cannot install it from the front end just go back to the um, software clause area and you can be able to install it there so i think that was the issue we were having as regarding our installment of the website so Now we are going back to the setup wizard and I'm just going to skip this guide first. Uh, I'm just going to skip this guide first so we can finish our installation um, of team and then we can come back to this part. So go to plugin, install plugin. So then I'm going to click on the get started again so then I'm going to click on the classic the build with templates and then select the elemental and then select the e-commerce and then we're going to pick this one and gonna click on continue 
So I'm going to skip this step. Just submit and build my website. We did this before, so let's allow it build the website. So if you come across any of these error, you could just go back just the way we did it and you just do it yourself. Now, because we're using a free server, it's actually taking quite um, <coughs> quite a bit of time in loading. But if we're using a paid server, it this doesn't take up to three minutes or four minutes. So, I think this is the cost. But it's all good, guys. It's all good because we are using a free one, so we are not paying for anything, guys. So, it's all good. Okay, so our website has actually been installed. Let's visit our website. So this is our website, guys, as you can see. This is our website. So it looks very beautiful, guys. It looks very beautiful. So we can start customization later on. So I think that is how you can literally um, install or build your F the first part of this tutorial guys so it's late it's actually late this is about 1 a.m and i've been from the office back to the house and i'm still continuing the tutorial so i think for this guys this this is how you install a team uh, which we just did with astra team on a free hosting so i'm going to continue with the next part i'm going to show you how to e-commerce for your website so thank you for watching guys see you on the next course or on the next episode